And let me give honor and thanks to my leaders first. Um, now I just like, like to give honor and respect to my visionary Apostle Asia Turner, uh, my pastor Sharico Turner, and I am Brother Henry Jackson, and I'm from Stepping Stone Fellowship Deliverance Ministry, which is located within North Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Um, I'm just going to say from, from how I received this, um, it was a, a, a message. It was a story of, uh, of, uh, teaching, well, teaching me how to, uh, ignite or how to keep my passion, my fire going, um, and this was a question that I constantly asked the Lord to to explain to me. Um, and this morning he did just that. And so I, I, I just wanted to show you the story that he gave to me. And I'm hoping that you, you know, get something from this as well. Um, and uh, plus I would like to ask the Holy Spirit to please be my emergency break on this. Um, I just wanted to be able to just tell the story, get straight to the point, and just, I want the Holy Spirit to pull back on the brakes, um, so, so I don't go beyond that point, but, um, I just, uh, wanted, uh, uh, to explain you how the story went, so, last night, I was, well, I was waking up this morning, and I'm laying here in my bed, and I'm asking the Lord, specifically, um, how do I get my fire back or how, how do I get my passion back? And the Lord responds to me and he gave me a vision. And I want to explain to you the vision. The, the vision is these two uh, boys in a uh, Boy Scouts. And each one, of, each one of the two boys had a stick. They, they both had a stick. Um, so while one of the boys that had the stick, he's nearly down. He places his stick down on the ground, and the other boy is standing right beside him. He takes his stick, and he, you know, rubs his while the other guy twists his. So as they begin to do this, uh, I, I see smoke, and immediately came to my mind, oh wow, like they about to start a fire. As it continued going on, I see a spark. And then I immediately said to the Lord, Lord, uh, don't you think it's safe that they have, you know, like a campfire, like like they build like a campfire to put this fire in? Uh, and he said, yeah. So he sent the two boys out on the, uh, to, to go look and find near trees and but to go bring back some rocks or some pebbles. And they put the rocks and pebbles you know, uh, uh, in a circle. Um, so it w wasn't as more bigger than my hand. And so as they lay down these pebbles, uh, they go out again and they go get some twigs. And if you a ever looked at a car wheel before, uh, those metal things that you see as spokes that go all the way around the wheel, that's exactly how they set those twigs, just like that. And right in the middle is what you may know in the wheel it is called a hood cap. And that's where you normally will find that bolt that you want to unscrew if you want to take the wheel off. But they they take these little twigs, they put them all around within these rocks uh, uh, that they had inside the pile. Now, underneath, well, in, in uh, the the... The circle part of the rocks, uh, they had to pull out the grass by hand to make sure there was no, there was nothing the fire can catch on to. And so, as they did that, they put the twigs down, they put them down there, you know. Uh, and so, the boy that was nailing, he put his twig right in the center of that. And so, he began twisting his with his arm, and the other boy came across his and he's doing this as the other boy twisting his. And as they began to do it, this the second time. Again, smoke appeared. 
and fire, uh, there's a spark happening again. But I just wanted to, to, to point out um, that the Lord will explain it to me um, that make sure that, that when you, you know, do something, that you want to make sure that you have a, a environment to put this passion in. Uh, the, 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 the thing when I was telling the Lord that don't they need a place to put this fire at to contain it. So, uh, so and I just want, want, wanted to point that out to you. Um, so a, as the boys began to turn their twigs, again, smoke came and a fire, a spark came out. This time when the, when the spark came out, one of the spark landed on one of the twigs that's inside the, uh, in the circle and it caught on fire and the fire began to jump from one twig to the next one then to the next one and eventually the whole uh twigs caught on fire um as all these trees begin to catch on fire now you begin to see the passion that i was asking the lord for and even though i i got excited at this point the lord said to me um, that this isn't the most important part. He said to me, the important part is now you got to go out with the boys and you got to go find some more twigs. And when the Lord said this to me, then it dawned on me. Um, there was nothing wrong uh, with the passion that I had or the way I was doing things. What dawned on me was the Lord was saying to me, you already have the passion, just you just didn't go out and go get more twigs to bring to the fire. So therefore, when the fire begins to go out, you can throw more twigs in. And so the fire can keep on, you know, say, uh, jitter, uh, jitterating. And so, no, I, I, when I'm, when I'm the, the point that the Lord made to me is very simple and short, but it really made sense. And so what this meant was I, I had to go out and I had to go, uh, I'm just going to use a, a teaching perspective. If you're passionate about teaching, um, your passion of teaching may be I want to help people, but then your twigs are going to have to be you know, you uh, opening up and asking the Lord more questions about, you know, not just about how can I help people, but in what ways can I explain things from different perspectives. So your twigs is going to be, you know, you asking the Lord basically, um, you know, from, from this perspective, how, how can I teach this from this perspective and how can I teach it from this perspective and I cannot teach you from this perspective. And as you begin to see those questions and those, you know, things or, you know, maybe it's music that you want to, that I'm trying to do. Um, the Lord was saying to me that you, then you got to go out and you got to, you know, y'all got to keep learning and you got to keep growing. You got to, you know, again, you know, uh, you know it, it is more like you're putting in, but you're still getting out. So, um, now, uh, the, the whole thing to keep your passion is you, you, you want to make, I wanted to make sure that when I start something that, that, that I have a environment to, to keep it in. Um, secondly, when I have that environment to keep it in, I want to make sure that like the Lord explained to me that I, that I can go out and come back and come, you know, uh, bring that to the fire so I can keep, you know, the passion alive. And so, again, um, that, that, that just something I just wanted to share with you guys on that story. And, you know, if you don't have a passion or, you know, um, for anything, then, you know, go to the Lord and, and just ask the Lord, you know, just, just think to yourself and ask, you know, what, what is it that I'm good at doing? Um, and, and, you know, there are other people who's going to tell you 
oh yeah, 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 they like how the way you explain things, or they like the way how you play this instrument because it makes them feel good, or you know, but most importantly, it will most importantly will make you feel good as well as you're doing it, and so you know, m maybe you want to pay attention to that and start asking the Lord now since I got my passion now how how can I keep this burning and so the Lord might tell you the same that he told me you know go out and keep learning different perspectives on that specific thing so you can you know always keep throwing something in to the fire so so you can keep it alive um so again you know now I really do thank thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity and sharing this story with you. Um, again, I thank the Holy Spirit for pulling me back on this one. And so, now I do really do hope that you take this as a word of encouragement. And, and to, uh, again, if, you know, now I just, I, I wanted to share this because I, I know for me, you know, this I was struggling with, whoever's struggling with this, same thing that I hope you receive the same message. So you know, no, I um, I just want, want want to pray out. Well, dear dear dear, dear Heavenly Father, so we come before you humbly, and, and we would like to. I I would like to say thank you for giving me insight on how I can ignite my passion, that I can keep it burning. And I don't have to worry about it going out anymore. I thank you for giving me the insight the the so I can continue to keep flourishing in those gifts, in those areas that I always wanted to flourish and thrust thrust in. Um bless those that hear this story and that they that you give them the insight the part of the story that you want them to get out of it so they could become ignited and fiery passionately just like just like I was when you gave me this story. Let them become those boys that's in the vision that they know how to start fires and they know how, how to ignite the fire and keep the fire going. In the in the wonderful name of Jesus, church say Amen. Uh, God God bless every each one of you. Um, again, you know, uh, yeah, I just want to try to have a blessed day.